Hey, I'm Anthony. I'm a software engineer and I hate marketing. I will do everything in my power to not doing it. But there's a catch. I need marketing to grow my SaaS. So I have an idea. Okay, actually this is not my idea. I found it on X, but what if I could code something that will help to promote my main business? So I will spend the next 50 hours trying to design, code and ship a free tool under the form of an AI wrapper. And hopefully this will bring a lot of traffic to my main business. I might sound like I know what I'm doing, but I'm actually not at all. <laughs> so it's 12.01, I'm already late in my challenge. Let's go. Okay, so to give you some context about what my SaaS is. So Brew.com helps to create and manage productized services. If you don't know what a productized services is, oh fuck, that's so proud to say. If you don't know what a productized service is, it is actually like you can subscribe to Netflix. Now you can subscribe to a design agency for a monthly fee. All my users, most of them are creatives, business owners, so entrepreneurs, and they always have the same question for me. What type of agencies uh, can I create with my skills? How can I get my first paying customer? And what type of marketing strategies should I use to run my business? They are most of the time as bad in marketing as me, and I won't be able to answer those questions. So what we will do, we will instead create a free tool, like I said before, that answers to all those questions using AI. Obviously, along the way, I will be prompting for their email address and I will be promoting my main product. I feel super smart saying all of that, <laughs> but now we need to actually understand how we can do it, code it and check if it works. Okay, let's do some mockups now. So, like I said before, uh, this is not my idea. I found it on X. The mastermind behind that is done and is doing something very similar for uh, India hackers. I, however, do it for agency owners. The big difference between Dan and I as well is that I know peanuts in marketing. I, I know nothing. So I will have to follow my guts there and I will go for a very simple thing. Uh, let's say this is my user coming on my website. Yes, I'm still doing the stick figures. Don't judge me. I'm sure you're, you're the same. And they will be greeted with a simple form input. And either they already know the agency idea and then they will get generated a way to get you their first subscriber and a way to market the product. Or if they don't uh, have an idea yet, they will just have to input their skills instead. And then the process will start with getting your agency idea. I think that's it. I think that's simple. Now I will just design it on Figma. Hey you, <laughs> let's go. The idea here is to quickly mock up what this can look like. Something that I'm the most worried about is copywriting. I'm extremely bad at that, like a lot. Okay. But after looking at some examples online, I finally decided to settle on generate productized service IDs in the snap. I think that, that slaps quite a lot. I then quickly started coding it. Of course I started coding it. I'm, I'm a nerd. Hello. <laughs> so it's... 10.46, uh, it's time to call it a day. I'm super proud with the progress. I've been working really hard. The concept is clear. The front end is actually done, which is amazing because all the components were already existing in my actual code base. I was able to go super, super fast. It took me around 45 minutes to do all of that. And now tomorrow I will be just focusing on the back end. And the back end, it's, it's, it's quite interesting because this is a free tool and one of them, there's three free tools. <laughs> one of them will be accessible without even being logged in. So it means that the, the API route will be sensitive because if someone just spam it, 
they can eventually drain all my OpenAI uh, credits. This can be dangerous and this can be extremely costly. <laughs> so I need to be careful with that. But this is for Anthony of the future. This is not for Anthony of today. So let's call it today. Uh, um, I will be waking super early tomorrow and I will be thinking about that. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good morning. So sorry for the coffee sequence. I <laughs> I have a new coffee machine, so I really wanted to to brag a bit about it. Uh, it, it makes actually really fucking good coffee. So I'm, I'm glad I just bought it. Um, I will start today. I will start right now to code. Uh, it's 11.43. I haven't coded yet because I went to the gym, so it's done. And now I have my full day ahead uh, where I can code and record this video. I will also fast today so I don't have like uh, any energy down during the day because as soon as I eat in general uh, after I'm, I feel like crap so I want to have like a full day of uh, pure focus and it helps me a lot to do that. So I will be coding all the backend and when this will be done it will be just a matter of like making it look nice on the front end. And I think I will be reusing uh, the nice sign-in animation that I've done in the previous video to show the to show the result. So I will I will show you what I mean by that uh, on my computer. So this is exactly what I have in mind. Um, instead of displaying a loading spinner that that's not boring, but that's not just too classical. I want something that feels high quality. I want like something that's where well, the expense is not broken because the AI is actually loading. So I've done something similar. Uh, I'll encourage you to, to watch the video, actually, it's a fun one. But as you can see, when I'm signing up, instead of loading, there is this little animation telling you that the email has been sent. And of course, in the background, the API was loading, but you can't actually see it. And this is what truly makes the difference, in my opinion, with like, any other, like every other things, like because I'm spending time doing this type of things. So I will just do that, add this type of animation and display all the results of the AI. I think it will look really great. And when it's done, so routing and that, I will just have to replicate everything. That's a lot of coding. <laughs> so I will start now. I think I will update you back in about two hours with uh, what I've done. So uh, I'm done. I'm super happy. Uh, I connected all the back end, front end. Now I have something that works. And I've discovered something amazing that you can ask ChatGPT to answer in a JSON uh, form. So as you can see now, I'm asking to send back IDs with a title. Uh, so title essentially is the idea, is the ID, why it's a good ID, and an emoji to illustrate it. So now if I'm uh, saying that my skills are like web design, for instance, and that I'm generating ID, as you can see, I have a little animation, so it's shit for now, I need to design it, but as you can see in my JSON, for, uh, JSON uh, data, I will get uh, ID back. The only issue, the only issue, and this is I think where, <laughs> where I will be struggling most for the next day or so, is that the response are a bit uh, lame and bland, like they're not really that useful. So I need to f uh, I need to think of a way to make the prompt better. To basically, it's prompt engineering at this level. It's 4:30 in 30 minutes. There is uh, the talk of Versal introducing the new Next.js uh, version. I don't want to miss that because I'm a huge Next.js fan. Then. When this will be done, I will just uh, keep working on that, trying to make the system better, and hopefully tomorrow we'll have something that uh, makes sense. I, I'm not really sure if I will be able to do the free tools, uh, but at least if I can do one of them extremely well, uh, it just means that I'll be able to copy past this one into new ones uh, later down the line. I'm super proud of what we have so far, but it's not there yet. I really, I'm really looking to have like this little thing that makes it, makes it special. 
we need to do some work again. <laughs> okay, let's get started again, I guess. At this point, it was all about making the experience looking nicer, add animations and make it smooth. This is what I work on for a few hours before going to sleep. Yes, I walk on the floor sometimes, and yes, my back hurts. So it's 6 a.m. I'm not really sure if you can see it. My my cat decided that the night was over for me. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm speaking slowly because my girlfriend is she's still sleeping, and so I have the next maybe three hours or so um, alone where I can focus. So I will be speedrunning the rent the rest of this. Uh, challenge and I'm pretty confident it will be it will be quite easy to do um, I still have to uh, I'm, I have like a few things to do just make sure the experience is nicer and then I would be releasing it and then I will have to focus on other parts and actually code uh, some features for my for my uh, SaaS because I'm a solopreneur on it um, there's no one else working on it so I need to I need to do it. Okay, let's get started again today. So, uh, this is the end. I, I was able to actually uh, click on the ship button. I was able to ship that in production. Um, I did it two hours in advance, so I'm super proud of that. I wasn't able to do three tools. I was able to do only two. But this is because um, I wanted to have like a very good, well-made uh, one at least. And the, the other one will, will, will come later. So I updated uh, the, the footer that you can access to the tool by clicking here. You'll be greeted on this page. And if you add your uh, skills, so let's say web dev and copywriting, uh, so I don't have copywriting as a skill, this is fiction. <laughs> uh, and you click on generate, then you will have this uh, animated uh, animation there. So it's a bit slow uh, because I have a uh, very bad connection. I'm waiting on ChatGPT to respond. And then, yeah, you get uh, this um, generated on the fly uh, UI. It's actually streaming the content from the AI straight away, but with UI components, which is, which is quite cool. And if you're not happy with the results, you can just generate, generate new ideas like that. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that was a 50 hours challenge. Uh, let me know if you like this type of video. Let me know if you want me to do like more of them or less of them, I don't know. Um, I guess see you soon and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.